Good day, you beautiful people of YouTube. It's the Mad Marine here, and today we're going to be talking about the Q Honey Badger braces and uh, how they've been reclassified. And so there's a lot of questions and concerns about this, and I thought I'd uh, jump in the mix and give you my two cents and, and what I know so far and, and what are my thoughts and what are my theories. Uh, not conspiracy theories, just just a theory. And uh, I've kind of been expecting this for about a year. But before we uh, go any farther, if you could please so kind as to subscribe, uh, share, and uh, like. These videos definitely helps the channel grow and, and helps me out. So I would appreciate that. But let's go ahead and jump into the Q Honey Badger Brace that is now defined as an SBR. And so this is the email that came out from Q and uh, they just sent a nice little note basically talking about what the ATF has done. But a lot of people are just reading this little email from Q and not actually reading the actual letter sent by the ATF uh, talking to Q. Now, first thing I want to point out is this letter was initially set back in August 3rd, uh, 2020. Uh, and if I remember correctly, this email came out this, uh, let me see, is there a week? Is, did they sign off on here? When this came out? I'm, I'm thinking this just came out this week. Uh, or at least I'm just hearing about it this week. So maybe I'm just behind. Um, but anyway, so this came out August 3rd. And they're specifically addressing the Honey Badger pistol. Um, so that's that's interesting. They're, this is what they're really talking about. However, in here, if we go down a couple more sentences, uh, we're talking about the Sugar Weasel and the Mini Flip, or, or Mini, I'm sorry, Mini Fix. Um, and it's addressing those two in this letter, and no one's talking about this. So this is this is concerning, because it looks like just from this one letter here, they're only talking about. Uh, the honey badger. When you go here, now they're addressing these other ones too. And so the ATF classifies what they consider an SBR, weapon designed, redesigned, made, blah, 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 blah. Basically firing a an explosive cartridge, single projectile through a rifle bore, a single pull of trigger shall include such weapons to be uh, rapidly restored to firing a fixed cartridge. Um, I mean, that's what they're considering. There's also some other things. Uh, long story short, there's a fine here. You can be subject to, what is it, uh, $10,000 or 10 years imprisonment. So that's another huge issue uh, as far as being compliant. But anyway, um, so let's go ahead and look at the Honey Badger. So this is what they're banning. Or this is what they're reclassifying as a SBR. Now... If you're looking at it, it just looks like an AR pistol with a brace, right? Looks like any other one except maybe a little fancier design. Nothing, I mean, nothing spectacular about this, guys. There's there's not a lot of difference. Now, there's definitely not a lot of difference between, let's say, this one and this one. Now, which one's this? This is the SB Tactical PDW one, right? Again... Not a lot of difference. Very similar. All right. And remember, this is now an SBR. They've reclassified this. But let's go back and look at what were the two. We're talking about the mini uh, fixed. This is the mini fixed. All right. So this is what they've now are asking questions about as well. And they're probably going to make another determination about these shortly. Uh, the sugar weasel. Here's the sugar weasel. Let me see if I can blow that up for you guys. What does this look like? Looks like an SBA-3 to me. But the ATF is thinking about classifying as an SBR. They clearly define that here in their letter. And so they're asking about it here at the very top, and which may also be a firearm as defined by the ATF. Okay. So as and it, there's some other classifications here of why they're saying it's was considered a stabilizing brace, but now they're saying because of other things that it may be considered a SBR now. Um, the problem is, is I feel like this is definitely a slippery slope. 
And I think these will be gone in three to five months. I don't think we'll have AR pistols anymore with braces. I think uh, you're, the, this is done. Uh, and I've been surprised it's lasted this long. And the last year I've been telling people don't buy braces. Um, it, it, it just things that were coming out of the ATF and uh, it sounded like this was the direction they were moving forward. But um, anyway, so there's another part in here that they're addressing. Uh, and let me see if I can find it where they talk again about the... Oh, here, here we go. Uh, further, your market of the Sugar Weasel and the uh, Mini Fixed on Firearms on your website, blah, 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 blah. Design features described as advertised, Sugar Weasel, blah, 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 is a includes a pistol stabilizing brace and a rifle barrel less than 16 inches based on the product's description of your website. ATF believes that this product, that, uh, that these firearms are designed and intended to be fired from the shoulder and may be classified as a short barreled rifle under the GCA and NFA. Please note, FAD, FAD makes firearm classifications uh, based on the physical sample of a firearm as received and is not an official classification. So it sounds like they've got a pretty big issue with these two, and they're not saying they're SBRs yet, but they're saying that's the direction I think we're going to head with those. So again, SBR. Probably SBR shortly. Probably SBR shortly. SBA3. PDW. Yeah. The, the, these pistol braces are probably gone. Uh, I don't want to mean to alarm anyone. I don't mean to do the panic. Um, I would just prepare, like, either to sell what you got, go ahead and remove your brace, or be prepared to move your brace so you can um, still keep your pistol but still keep it legal, or get ready to SPR it. And, um, I've been hearing e-files have been going pretty well. Um, there's also a huge issue of... These already in existence, right? So here's one on Gun Broker. Now, a lot of these on Gun Broker have actually um, kind of complied with the ATF's new ruling and kind of said these are SBRs, you got to do the Form 1. Um, or actually, is it a Form 1 or a Form 4? Because they're reclassifying this, but it's not a registered SBR. So I guess you'd have to do a Form 1 because it's now considered. Because Form 1 is when you manufacture, Form 4 is when you uh, transfer. So it'd be interesting, what do you actually need to do? Do you need to create a Form 1 or a Form 4? Good questions. Um, I would imagine it's probably going to have to be a Form 1, but I could be wrong. So uh, you may need to, if you have one and you need to figure out, uh, call, call, call one of the ABC agencies and have them tell you what, which one they need to fill out. So, but anyway, so a lot of these uh, have been caught up with uh, the times and they're saying, yeah, you need to do a form um, or you need to, it's classified as an SBR. But this one here on Gun Broker is still listed as potentially a pistol. So what do you do about the ones in existence? Well, don't worry. The government has a plan. All right, so right here, they're saying cease and desist of all manufacturer and transfer of honey badger firearms, blah, 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 our pistols. Um, and then here, in the lovely um, area here, um, contact the plan for further addressing of firearms already distributed no later than August 17th, 2020. Wait, what? Contact the ATF to develop a plan for addressing... Those firearms are already, already distributed no later than August 17th, 2020. Okay. So, pretty much, they're going to do some nice contract tracing, essentially. And I'm pretty sure they're going to go for, to the distributors, to the people who sold them, to the people who have them. So, if you got one, good luck. Um, and then they're talking about the Sugar Weasel and Mini Fixed. They have basically saying they want to read classification uh, and our classification no later than August 17th, 2020. I did not dig into this. 
uh, as far as the reclassification of these two. Um, but that's where we're at. So as I said, I think I would uh, get $200 ready. You know, put that aside. Um, because, I, again, that's pretty close to the other one. And let's see if I can do this. Oh, here we go. So here's the SBA-3. And here's all the others. Here's every or a lot of the different pistol braces out there. I don't see these being here much longer. So that's the email. That's the letter. Oh, let's go. Actually, I've never looked at the actual email from the uh, <laughs> from the manufacturer. And uh, so their their basic suggestion is is to uh, basically let you know that the ATF has taken the position that this is now an SBR. And on top of that, your your courses of action are to remove the barreled upper from the lower receiver and dedicate it as a replacement for another AR-styled pistol or registered SBR. Uh, and then if you don't have one, yeah, you basically just need to get it out of your house <laughs> and, and demonstrate that um, you, you can't have it. So pretty much you got to SBR it or get rid of it. Um, yeah. And then I'm curious once the completed, you may form. Oh, they're actually saying form one. So you're actually creating an SBR because you actually have to register it, not a form four. Um, and then, of course, they're saying the consequences is $10,000 or 10 years imprisonment. So I'm curious, though. While waiting for your Form 1, if you don't have a replacement, is this intent to create an SBR illegally? Or are they going to give you the benefit of the doubt? I don't know. Good question. But uh, yeah, this sucks. This absolutely sucks. Um, this is stupid, but so are pistol braces equally as stupid. So I think the law is stupid and I think the pistol braces are stupid equally, but you know, uh, we've got to work within the law, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, cause I like to stay out of jail and I would encourage you to stay out of jail. Uh, so, you know, you know, follow the law, gripe about it, write your congressman, elect different people that you feel that would do a better job. And that's all I can tell you to do. Um, but yeah, stay within the confines of the law because uh, I've never been to jail or prison, but I imagine it sucks. And, uh, you know, I, I like three good meals a day, sometimes four, and uh, a warm bed to sleep in. So this is where we're at. I, again, my two senses is these pistol braces are gone uh, or will be gone within the next, again, three to five months. We're not going to see these anymore. Uh, you're going to be told to chop them up, destroy them, or, or do a Form 1 or Form 4. Uh, well, Form 1, because you're going to be creating. But anyway, that's the current state. Um, I look forward to other videos and more explanations of uh, what's going on. But as I said here, with the additional movement of the Sugar Weasel and Mini Flip and the comparable braces that are so similar... Uh, because, I mean, one of them use, was the Sugar Weasel uses the SBA-3, which is this right here. So if the SB, if the Sugar Weasel is bad, then why is this not bad? It's the same brace, right? It's similar size and function. I mean, what what's the difference? Just you know, the price tag? I mean, I, I would be so pissed, honestly, if I spent $3,000 on an A on this thing and now I'm screwed. Or... Uh, let's see, I think this one's like 1500 although in this crazy market, 1500 maybe isn't that bad. But yeah, $1,500 on this, you know, flashy AR, well, now I guess now it's going to be an SBR shortly. But still a pistol at the moment, as far as I know. So, yeah, it sucks. Sorry, guys. I wish I had better news. Um, again, just be prepared to uh, sell this crap or uh, form one it, or, uh, you know. Or put a just regular buffer tube on the back of it, and there you go. It's a pistol again. So, anyway, good luck. Mad Marine signing off. Please like, comment, subscribe. I hope this video helps you. Um, just passing along some information. And uh, Mad Marine signing off.